Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Kevin Holmes. Here are your headlines for Monday, March 30th. Doctors may sound like a broken record, but they haven't stopped their urgent pleas for people to stay home. This as we learn of new cases likely spread from church functions and we hear of people gathering at parks. Cases are growing significantly in Missouri. The state now has more than 1000 cases. Kansas reporting 371. Missouri Governor Mike Parson warned residents the COVID-19 crisis will last for at least another two to three months. Right now, the number of positive cases is over a thousand and the governor said it's important more testing is done. We're trying to do more and more testing in the state of Missouri. And frankly, we want to do that as many as we possibly can. And by doing that, those numbers go up. But that's also a good thing when those numbers go up because you're identifying the people who need to be treated or how to identify those people. A lot of the states are not testing as much as we are. And new tonight, the Jackson County Health Department ordering Bass Pro to shut its doors. This is a look of the Bass Pro off I-70 in Independence from just about an hour ago. The health department telling 41 Action News a letter of noncompliance is being sent to the company. The letter states if Bass Pro remains open this week, law enforcement will be contacted. The business is not allowed to reopen until this stay at home order is lifted. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas said today he wouldn't be surprised if the stay at home order gets extended into May. Now, this follows word from the president yesterday that social distancing guidelines are in effect through the end of April. Casey Moe also working to get people to stop gathering at parks. Gary Lezek with your forecast. We're tracking a storm system. Hey, good evening. Here's what's going on. The rain showers to our south are barely going to get to Kansas City. Maybe just a few sprinkles. As you see, the activity shifts farther to the south as we go towards early tomorrow morning. And this storm system will produce severe thunderstorms in Georgia. While that's going on, we will get to the back side of this storm, and that will allow us to warm up a little bit tomorrow. 52 degrees by 2 o'clock tomorrow morning, 62 degrees 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, so it's looking really good. Remember, you get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.